So let's start with question number six. What are the different layout methodologies in Silverlight? Now, definitely, uh, as a developer, you know you would like to position your Silverlight uh, objects on a particular x y coordinate of the screen. Uh, probably you like to position objects at the left bottom or at the top bottom, etc. So Silverlight gives you three ways by which you can do the layout and positioning. One is a canvas, second is a grid, and third is a stack. So first, let's start with canvas. Now, can canvas is basically uh, nothing but its absolute positioning. So for example, you know the x and y coordinates where you want to place your Silverlight object. You can specify the x coordinate using the left property of the of the Silverlight object. And you can specify the y coordinate using the using the top property of the Silverlight object. Let's see an example for this. For example, I have a rectangle here. Now you can use the rectangle's left and the top property to to define the exact x and y coordinate. For example, if I say 100, right, it gets position accordingly. If I say 100 comma 100, it will be somewhere in between. So you can see that by using x and y coordinates of uh, or you can specify the x and y coordinate using the left and top property of the canvas. So in other words, canvas helps you to do absolute positioning. Now let's look at the second uh, methodology by which you can do layout and positioning in Silverlight. The second methodolo methodology is the grid. Now grid is very much similar like a table in a, in a HTML. So basically you have rows and columns. And then uh, once you define your rows and columns using a table, you can exactly tell the Silverlight object in which row and which column to go in and fit in. So here's an example for it. So here's a grid which I have. Now this grid has basically two columns and two rows. Now in order to define column, you need to use the grid column definition. First thing, you need to define a grid by using the grid element tag. Then you can define you know, uh, columns using the column definition. You can define the row defin uh, rows using the row definition. So at this moment, I have defined two columns using the column definition and I have defined two rows using the row definition. Now I can tell a particular Silverlight object, like example, a text block or a text box, you know, to go on column zero, comma, comma, row zero. So now this text block basically goes and fits into the first column and first row. Then I can define some other Silverlight object, you know, at this moment it is a text block. I can I can tell to the Silverlight object that go to the first column and go to the first row. So this goes and fits in here. So in this way, using the grid column and the grid row, you can tell which column and which row should the Silverlight object be going in. The third one is a stack. Now stack allows you to arrange your UI elements either vertically or horizontally. So let's see example of it. You can get all the source code, you know, when you're seeing the video, you will see a link at the site, you know, where you can go and download it. In case you have bought the DVD, you can get the source code uh, uh, in the DVD itself. So what I've done is that I have created one project and in that project, I have given three XAML files, canvas, grid and a stack. So with that, you know, you can know all the three types of uh, layout methodologies. Okay, stack panel basically allows you to arrange the Silverlight object either horizontally or vertically. So for example, I have here uh, four Silverlight objects. One is a simple text label, the other one is a rectangle, the third one is a button and fourth one is a checkbox. Now what I've done, I have put all these objects inside, inside a stack panel tag. Now with that, what happens is it basically aligns them, you know, in a vertical direction. So in case you need a horizontal direction, you can uh, basically, you know, uh, tell to the stack panel that you want to align it horizontally. Right. So stack panel basically helps you to uh, align your objects in either vertical or in either horizontal direction. So in this way, we have discussed three components or three methodologies by which you can uh, do layout and positioning in Silverlight. First is canvas, absolute positioning, grid, which uses the same fundamental like table in HTML and stack, which allows you to arrange your UI elements vertically or horizontally.